Hey YouTube, what's going on? Walt D1911 here with a quick field strip cleaning of my Ruger SR9 compact. So I just want to make it clear this is just a field strip cleaning. Uh, it's not a detailed takedown of the slide or the frame or anything like that. I put about 250 rounds through this gun over the weekend and I just want to give it a quick cleaning. Now the Ruger SR9 is pretty easy to take down. All right, first thing we do, we ensure that the pistol is unloaded. There's no magazine in there. The chamber is clear. So the first thing we want to do to take this pistol down, we want to lock the slide. Inside, there's a magazine disconnect. You just have to push that down with your finger. Then there's a takedown pin that's here. I normally just take a pencil eraser in and just give it a little push so I can grab it. I pull the pin out. I pull the trigger. Hit the slide release and the slide comes right off the frame. So let's start with the frame first. Now what I normally do when I'm cleaning any of my guns I start with what's called a dry cleaning. And basically what I do is I'll take a patch. It's got no solvent. It's got no oil on it and I'm just gonna wipe it down and I'm gonna try to get all that grease and gunk off there with a dry patch. This way when I do use a solvent I'm not making a mess and I'm not making mud. So if I can get the majority of the crud off with just a dry patch that's gonna save me a lot of time. As you can see it's not all that dirty but it will definitely save you some uh, some elbow grease later. You want to make sure you get all your metal parts down. Flip up that magazine disconnect. Give it a good cleaning. Put it back down in the position there. And the frame on these polymer guns is really simple to clean. Really simple. All right, after I'm pretty sure I got most of the, the junk off of there, what I normally use is Shooter's Choice. I just give it a quick shake. Wow, I'm getting low. I use just a normal Q-tip. Just put a little dab of the Shooter's Choice on the Q-tip, and I'm just going to wipe down my rails and any of the metal parts in the frame. See if you can see what I'm doing here. And you'll see some of the, the black coming off there, some of the oil and grease that's been there from shooting it. And I don't use a whole lot of solvent when I'm cleaning. I try to keep it to a minimum. And just use what you need just to get the gunk off. Alright, then I'll turn it around again. A little dab on the Q-tip and just give it another little quick shot. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Next I'll take another clean patch and I'll just wipe it down real good. As you can see on the patch, the solvent removed the rest of the crud that was in there. You want to make sure that you get your rails. You want to get this part. This is where your slide will go back and forth on the frame. So you want to make sure that that's nice and clean. All right, I'm just going to wipe off that solvent. really pretty simple. Next what I'll do to complete the frame cleaning I use FP10 by Shooter's Choice. It's a uh, cleaner lubricant. Again I'll take another Q-tip 
and I use this very sparingly. These guns don't need to be you know, highly oiled. That's just going to attract dirt and gunk as you're shooting. So I just used a slight dab on the Q-tip, and I'm just going to lightly coat my metal parts. And my rails, my magazine disconnect, and I'm just like I said, just a very light coat anywhere where the metal is exposed. All right, you want to make sure you get inside your rails, and that's it. The f frame is completely clean. It's done, so it doesn't take all that long. All right. Next, we'll move on to the slide assembly. We're going to remove the guide rod and spring assembly. We're going to pop our barrel out. And then what I normally do is I start with the barrel. And again, I go back to my dry cleaning philosophy. All right. I'll take an old brush. I'll put a patch on it, a dry patch and I'll run it through the barrel. And I'll just flip the patch over. You see, and it got some of that junk out already. Then what I'll do is I'll take my bronze cleaning brush for a 9mm pistol. Just put a little bit of solvent on it. And I'm going to run that through the through the uh, the barrel. Just about ten times. I'll take a quick look down there. I'll shine it up into the light. If I don't see any gunk in there or pieces, I'm good to go. Then I'm just going to go right into where your bullet would sit and I'm just going to give it a twist all the way through pull it through and the inside of my barrel is pretty clean next I'll take a patch and I'll just dab it just a little bit with the shooter's choice and just give the outside of the barrel and the barrel lug area a quick wipe down. The area you want to really really watch is your feed ramp which is this part right here and these little nodules up here. All right, You can get a lot of gunk built up in there and if it's not cleaned right it could give you some feed problems. So I'm just going to wipe that down really good with the uh, with the solvent with the patch Okay, that looks pretty good, but I still have a little bit of black residue inside these nodules here, these little notches. So I'll take my bronze cleaning brush, and I'm just going to run it very gently over that area. And that's going to remove any buildup I may have. Then I'll use the large side and just give it a quick shot. Okay, it looks pretty good. Take a clean patch, wipe that area off. I'm gonna wipe my lugs off and my barrel just to get that solvent off there. All right, then my next step is I'm gonna take a dry patch, take my old bore brush, and I'm gonna run that dry patch through. And now you can see all that crud coming out. And I'm going to keep doing that until it's just about clean. And now if you get a patch that looks like this, if you're using a good cotton patch, you could flip it over. You can save yourself a little bit of time and you can save yourself a patch and push it through. Now that's coming out pretty clean. 
one more patch should do it. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna just flip the patch over. And I'm gonna run it through again. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, let's run one more dry patch. Sorry about that. Flip the patch back over. Run it through. All right. Now I'll hold my barrel up to the light and I'll take a patch. So I get some kind of a contrast and I'll look through that. And that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'll just give a quick wipe down on the inside here. And I'm just doing the muzzle end. I see just a little bit of black in there. Just on this muzzle end, there's just a little bit of black. I'm going to just use my brush very gently. Because where that barrel crown is, you, just, you will get a little bit of buildup. So I just very gently use my bronze brush just to get that black crud off. I do it very gently. And that looks pretty good. Give it a little wipe with the patch. Okay, now it looks pretty good. Then what I'll do, again I'll take my FP10 and just a couple drops. Not a lot, just a few. I don't want a lot of oil inside my barrel, but I just want to put enough in there just to protect it. This gun may sit for a, a little bit, I want to make sure that there's just a little bit of oil in there. So while it's sitting in the safe, I'm not going to get any rust buildup or anything. So I just put a very gentle sheen on the inside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another clean patch. A couple dabs and I'm just going to wipe down the barrel. All right, I'm going to get inside my my lugs there. And I don't want to use too much, just a little bit'll do. Okay. And I'm going to set my barrel aside. I'm looking at my recoil spring here. And it looks pretty good. It's not really all that dirty. So I'm just going to basically use my FP10 patch that I clean the outside of that barrel and I'm just going to wipe it down. This way it puts a little bit of that lubricant on the spring, keeps it working nice. And it's not really all that dirty. You don't really have to worry about that spring too much. If you keep, you know, if you upkeep your guns after you shoot them, then you won't have a mess trying to clean them but if you let them sit let them sit then it's going to make it more difficult to clean once I do that then I just take a clean patch and I just wipe off the excess oil okay and I'm done with the spring now we look at the slide assembly all right and it's not all that bad it's not all that bad but what I'm going to do is I go back to my dry clean I'm going to take my bronze brush and I'm just going to very gently just clean inside my rails. Now the bronze brush will not scratch the finish of your gun. If you use a, um, a stainless brush, you know, you, you, you have the possibility of scratching, putting little, you know, little scratches in your gun and you definitely don't want that. So I suggest you use only a bronze brush or you could use a nylon brush. All right, and I'm just getting that dry stuff out. Now, the area on the slide you want to watch is where your firing pin housing is, which is in here. And what I do is I hold the, the slide this way, and I let gravity do some work for me. And I take my brush, which is dry, and I want to clean that area pretty good. 
Now, but you want to do it gently because you don't want to push the dirt into that firing pin hole. So you just want to very gently get in there with the bronze brush. And it's going to take most of the, the crud off there and it's not going to drop inside your firing pin. All right, now that I'm like that, I'm going to take a Q-tip with my shooter's choice. All right, and I'm just going to go up inside the frame here. And I'm just going to try to get some of that stuff out. Now you'll see that the Q-tip is black, which means it's removing some of that lead fouling and unburnt powder that you'll you'll find in your in your gun after you're done shooting it. And I'll make sure I get inside the rails really good with the Q-tip. And again, I'm not using a whole lot, just a little dab, just enough to, that you can get it clean. You don't want to saturate any of your parts of your firearm with that solvent because you want to make sure you remove it before you reassemble. It's a corrosive and you definitely don't want that sitting on your firearm. Then I'm going to just take the other end of my Q-tip, just a little dab. I'm going to turn my cylinder, my, uh, my slide this way and I'm going to clean that area where the firing pin housing is and where my extractor is. And I'm just going to very gently put some solvent over there. And as you can see, it is removing all that all that junk that's in there. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is I pick up my loaded chamber indicator and you're going to get you're going to get some fouling inside there too. So I'm just going to give that a quick wipe down. And all you have to do is just hold this with your finger and just give it a quick wipe down. Okay, after that's done, I'm going to take my bronze brush again and I'm just going to very gently just give that a scrub. Then I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to use the large bristles so I make sure I get in all the little nooks and crannies. And I just give it a, just a very gentle, I let the brush do the work, you don't need to apply any pressure. Then I take a dry patch, and I'm going to wipe out all the remaining gunk that's in there and junk. And you may need to use two or three patches for this step. You want to make sure that you get inside your, your grooves for your slide. And you want to try to remove as much of that solvent as you can with your patches. You don't want any of that residual solvent on your gun. Then I just kind of give this a turn where the recoil spring will sit and inside the frame where the barrel lays. And I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. Okay. Then on the outside of the pistol, I don't really use any solvent on the outside of the pistol. What I will do is I'll take a patch and I'll just put a couple dabs of FP10, which is my cleaner, my lubricant, and I'll just wipe it down really good. I want to make sure I get around my sights so there's no, no black junk laying around in there. And the outside of the slide is really not all that bad. What I normally do when I'm done shooting at the range, I will take a rag with me, something similar to this. And before I put my gun back in my, in my range bag, I'll give it a quick wipe down. You know, especially on the feed ramp, I'll wipe that off. I'll wipe the outside of the gun down just very quickly, just so it makes it a little bit easier to clean. And it doesn't take all that long of a time clean it. So I'm just going to wipe the whole thing down with just that little patch of that FP10 inside and out. Make sure I get up in where my firing pin is. I want to get all that solvent out of there, all that black stuff. And just what's on this patch is just is, is plenty to lubricate and protect your pistol. 
You don't need a whole lot of this stuff. It goes a long way. A little dab will do you. All right. My last step is I will take my FP10 and I'll just put a little, just a little dab on the Q-tip. It doesn't even cover the whole Q-tip. Just on the one side. And I'm going to put it inside my rail. And I'm going to get that solvent. I'm going to get that FP10 down in my rail. And I'm going to do both sides. And that's just going to give me a little bit of a, a slick surface. So when a pistol is running on the frame, it's just there's no, you know, there's a little bit of friction. But I'm just going to, then I just want to wipe the inside down real quick, just a little bit, all inside the top. All right, like I said, you don't really need a lot of lubrication with these polymer pistols. I mean, they're built to run dry, but you want it just a little bit. Okay, now we're done. We're ready for reassembly. I'm going to take my barrel, put it back in. I'm going to take my recoil guide spring. I'm going to place that in there. And when you reassemble this, just make sure there's a little groove on the lug, the barrel lug, you want to make sure that your spring is sitting in that little groove. Next I'll take my takedown pin and I'll just wipe that down. That doesn't get all that dirty. So I use just a little bit, the patch of the FP10 just to give it a little coating. Alright, next I'm going to take my frame and my slide I'm going to slide it back on. I'm going to pull it back to the lock position, like so. I'm going to take my takedown pin. I'm going to put it in until it snaps in place. And then what you need to do you want to take a magazine, place it in the bottom, make sure it's empty. That's going to reset your magazine disconnect. Then what you're going to do is release your slide, drop your mag, and you're going to check your pistol. And I usually do this four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times just to get that lubricant running inside the rail. And that's it. Now basically we're finished. My last step is to take a clean rag. And I just want to wipe it down, including the polymer, the frame, and I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down, get my fingerprints off it. Okay. And then my last step, I use one of these silicone rags, silicone impregnated rags. You can get them at any gun shop. You can find them online. And I just give my pistol just a really really good little coating with the silicone rag all right I don't wipe it on the polymer just on the metal components just on the top of my slide and that's just going to give me a little protective coating protected from fingerprints and that's it and that's how I clean my Ruger SR9. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please let me know. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon. You all have a good day.